I'm Rafa Bartoszewski. I've lived in a city for all my life, but I always knew that the best and the most important things are outside. That's why I want to take you. Closer to the nature. You could walk through the forests for years and never meet a badger. These animals live in hiding, reluctantly showing themselves to humans. We rarely see badgers because they are animals that prefer habitats where humans rarely appear. In addition, they are animals with rather nocturnal lifestyle and they spend their days hidden somewhere in their burrows. Fortunately, I know the place where badgers have been living for years, and I wonder if they can be seen there this year as well. Watching badgers can bring a lot of joy, not only because they look very nice, they are stocky, they move on quite short legs, and the black and white head stands out from the grey body, but also because they are very sociable animals who like to play and spend time together, for example, somewhere near the burrow. Badgers spend a lot of time foraging as they feed mainly on earthworms, which requires slow searching of the soil. These animals know the area very well, thanks to which, if it's possible, they go straight to their favorite and rich feeding grounds. However, they do not limit themselves to eat earthworms and diversify their diet with fruits, insects, cereals and small vertebrates. I finally came here. This is the entrance to the Badger's Den. In fact, it's only one of many entrances. There's another, there are two more, etc. The burrows of these animals are really amazing constructions. There can be hundreds of meters of corridors that connect several chambers. In addition, animals take great care of their burrows, clean them, unclog the corridors, and make sure that everything is tidy, both inside the burrow and in their closest surroundings. It's not surprising that such impressive and spacious properties are also willingly occupied by other animals. For this reason, for example, foxes sometimes move into badger's burrows. Unfortunately, they also make a mess there, or raccoon dogs. For the latter, badger's burrows are especially important in winter, because they significantly increase their chances of surviving in this difficult time. Badgers, as befits friendly and peaceful creatures, usually tolerate the presence of roommates. It doesn't mean, however, that they enjoy their company, so they try to stay in other parts of the burrow.
Sometimes, however, foxes and the mess they cause are too much trouble for the badgers, and then the rightful owners of the burrow look for another area for themselves. These animals also build other, shallower burrows in which they can hide temporarily when it's necessary. Butters use their burrows for years and they are used by subsequent generations of these animals. I'll leave the photo trap here. I wonder if I'll be able to see them near this entrance this year as well. But just in case, I'll put another one there. As I expected, animals can still be seen here. This is great news and I'm very happy about it. Because the butters are still where I expected them, I hope I will be able to watch them. They are nocturnal animals, but now we have the longest days of the year and I will try to take advantage of it. The nights are so short that butters should be out of their burrows before it gets dark. Maybe I can find them. I have to be far away from the burrow, so the animals will not smell me and to not to bother them. At first I plan to go further and hide somewhere among the plants, but here is also a good place so I'll stay here. The most important thing is to not let the animals smell me. Badgers have a great sense of smell and the first thing they do when they leave their burrow is lift their noses up and sniff to check if there is any danger lurking nearby. Here however, the wind blows in the right direction and if I go down this hill, I would walk between the various entrances to the burrow, what I prefer to avoid. I'm staying here. It turned out that we didn't have to wait long. Badger appeared out of nowhere and although he was a bit scared at the beginning, he quickly calmed down. Beautiful animal. I was excited, especially because I could watch him from a short distance while he was busy with his own things. Of course there was a bit of cleaning up to do. From a short distance, I was able to watch him silently, motionless, in order not to betray my presence. It was a great meeting that I will never forget. 
The forest where I walk so often is home to badgers. The place where they live and where I can observe them. I'm not calm about badgers because unfortunately they can still be hunted. However, I wish this family the best and I hope that we will be able to visit them here for many years.